James, so we're gonna take a look at your Instagram page. You ready to check out your feed? Yeah, there's not much on there, but we can uh, we can check it out. <laughs> First one, of course we're here in the Bronx. Oh yeah. So we gotta talk about this pizza, Ruby so. Rosa. Oh, delicious. It was great. We, uh, we So we visited this off season, uh, went out for dinner with friends, and they recommended this place. And the pizza was fantastic. I love pizza, and uh, this, this is some good pizza. Now you're from Canada, so yeah. are you a big time pizza guy or what? I mean, yeah, my, my family actually uh, eats pizza every Friday night. We order pizza. Uh, it's kind of pizza night uh, back at my parents' place. So, you know, really enjoyed this pizza. It was, it was awesome. All right, so how would this pizza compare to your parents' pizza? Ooh, uh, I, I'd have to say this piece is better than the stuff we get back home. <laughs> and here we go, we got s'mores. There's nothing yep. like making some s'mores. Around right, a nice fire like this. Yep, this was Christmas time. Uh, my wife and I spent Christmas with my, uh, my folks this off season. They have a, you know, a wood burning fireplace in their living room. And we thought that it would be great to uh, roast s'mores just on the wood burning fireplace. Uh, and it was, it was great. We're talking food, we're talking some sweets. Yep. That's a nice caption you got there. That's 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 a good husband. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, so we that was on our honeymoon actually uh, in Maui. We found this spot that uh, was recommended to us, and they have great milkshakes. We love the milkshakes. They're good food too, burgers and fries and stuff. But uh, really enjoyed it. Katie loved her milkshake. I think we might have shared that one. But it was uh, it was great. I'm sure, you got some brownie points. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> Speaking of that, you guys do like to go out. Have a good time, check out some restaurants. Yep. Got a chance to crack open some crabs. We did, yep, that was in Seattle. And uh, yeah, they give you the mallets and you get to break it up. You kind of get a little messy, that's why we got the bibs on and stuff. But uh, I love seafood and uh, it was great. I really enjoy checking out different places in different cities when we get a chance to on off days or if we have a day game and we're not flying somewhere. Um, it's great to get around, get around town and find different spots to go to. Perfect segue, it's like you knew what the next picture was gonna be. <laughs> off day, during the baseball season, you go to the San Francisco Giants game. Yep. How much fun was that being there, actually enjoying a game rather than playing it and obviously being with a loved one? Yeah, it was great, you know, it's, <laughs> it was a different feel for sure. I'm used to being on the field, uh, but it was awesome to just go like as a fan, watch a game with my wife, you know, have a beer and a hot dog. <laughs> Felt like a regular guy. Uh, it was it was great, good experience. It's nice going in regular street clothes rather than actually having to put on a uniform. I'm sure too, right? Yeah, I got to show up at you know 6:45 right before the game, relax. It was uh, it was cool. I like being on the field. You know, I, I choose that first, but uh, it was awesome to, for uh, to go with my wife on that off day and kind of spend some time watching the game together. So you got that hiking done in Hawaii. Yep. You got this beach yep. in California. Being from Canada, do you prefer this <laughs> over that kind of beach setting? <laughs> well, I'd say for now I love the beach. Um, the beach is great, especially like off-season, little vacation, you know, hang out on the beach, relax. Um, I love snowboarding. I had to quit when I was like 15 because of baseball, you know, you don't want to break a wrist or something like that. So I um, had to shut that down. But someday I want to get back to, uh, to snowboarding. Hopefully it's not for a long time. But when I'm done, I think I'm really going to enjoy getting back on the mountain and uh, ripping up some trails. Because of your Canadian roots. Yep. A fan made you this. Yep. Big Maple. It's a pretty awesome nickname. Very cool. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, someone gave me that. It's just so cool. Uh, there's been a great, uh, you know, following of the, the Maple Grove in, uh, in Seattle. They've got a group out there that uh, goes up when I pitch. They have A cars instead of K cars. You know, Felix has the K cars in uh, Kings Court over there. But they've done this themselves, and they, they have a great time doing it. And I actually got to meet them uh, last year as well. They came oh, down awesome. before a game, and uh, I gave them maple bars, and we took some pictures <laughs> and hung out. Really nice people. Uh, it's just so great to have such an awesome time uh, out there watching my games, cheering for me, and uh, that was a just a really nice gift from one of them. Which brings us to this post of yours, the No No shirt. That is a very cool, very like personalized, like custom type shirt for yep. yourself. Yeah, that's got to be sweet to wear that and to actually have pitched one. It's <laughs> it, that was amazing. I mean, what a game! And I've said in the past that game belongs as much to my teammates as it does to me. It's some the defense I got in that game was unbelievable, and uh, it's just really cool that they made uh, this T-shirt for me. Uh, you know, with the Canadian Maple Leafs inside the O, um, just really special. It was. Uh, an amazing game and uh, having stuff like this to remember it by is awesome. So once you posted this photo, how many friends and family reached out to you texting you like, oh hey, can I get one of those shirts? <laughs> uh, I think a few actually reached out <laughs> once some of those. Uh, 
I think I uh, directed them to uh, the place online where they can, they can order them. <laughs> There's that shirt. And then you've posted a few times about socks. Are you a big yep. time sock guy? These socks are pretty sweet. The Mariners lineup and yeah. of course you got these ones right here. Yep, Stride Line. I've got a friend who knows the guy who uh, is kind of a part of that company and uh, they've hooked us up with socks a number of times and just posted to say thank you for the awesome socks they gave us. And I don't know if you tried those socks, but they are extremely comfortable. And, check uh, them out. You should check them out. <laughs> I think they actually just got a deal with uh, MLB to oh, wow. make socks so they can put players' faces on okay. socks now. So yeah, really good, really cool company. Before we go, let us know what you love about Instagram most and why somebody should follow you. Uh, Instagram's great, um, you know, just to keep up with friends, family, uh, see what's uh, going on in pop culture. Um, I say follow me to see what I'm doing out and about on, this, on the road or, uh, you know, just whatever. If you really want good, uh, good stuff on me, probably follow my wife, uh, Katie Jo Paxton on Instagram. She's always got the best videos of me. She's always bringing out her phone when I'm doing funny stuff and catching, catching things. So she's definitely the one to follow in our family. <laughs>